Welcome to yet another exciting show of Masim Tumisa Gospel Show right here on Life Destiny. Remember that it is your life, your destiny. Ikamalami, my name is Ulundiwe Kuzwayo, and I'm so thrilled and excited and filled with so much joy to be with you on this amazing Sabbath. Do you remember that our theme for this entire season on Masim Tumisa is simply on Thanksgiving? Yeah. And how else do you want to thank the Lord? Hey, By hey. praising Him right That's here right. on Masim Tumise. May everything that you do, your household, your hands, your body, your soul and spirit, may it give thanks to the Lord. That's, uh, that's right, definitely, Londiwe. We are quite excited and quite thrilled to be here tonight. And with Londiwe, it is in Dombienu Dimagatso Wagas Tole. And where else can I rather be but be here with you tonight? And our verse for the night is, Make a joyful sound to the Lord, all ye lands. And where else would you rather make that joyful sound to praise and to worship? Worship your Lord in spirit rather than a Masim Dumise on Life Destiny TV. And indeed, indeed, and to help us give you that praise and true worship, it is the one and only Divine Appeal yeah. joining us this evening all the way from Mitsambisa, Johannesburg, South Africa. And we're super excited to have the gentleman joining us in studio, sharing us about how the group basically started, how God continues to walk with them in this journey, and obviously sharing this ministry with us. And I'm super excited about that. And well, all of you, our viewers at home, if you want to know more about Divine Appeal, or if you want to just have a chat with us and talk to us, don't forget, you can engage with us on our social media platforms, and that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are so excited to just be talking to you, just hearing from you about what it is that you'd like to see happening on this show. Well, for now, please stay tuned as Divine Appeal blesses us with a beautiful song.
ya tandu Tonight at this moment, I'm actually sitting with two gentlemen from the group called Divine Appeal. I'm sure you have been blessed by their beautiful, melodious tunes. And I'm sitting with Anne Lisa and U Ndibuwo. Good evening and welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Well, I must say, it is quite an honor to actually have you here with us. And I'm quite excited personally. I must say, I really, really love your music. It's really, it's really, it's, it's really soothing to the soul, if I have to say so. <laughs> Now, you guys are called Divine Appeal, Annelisa. Explain that. What inspired the name Divine Appeal? Uh, well, we had names we wanted to choose from, but uh, the Divine Appeal, I think, we chose it because it actually describes uh, our, our music. Okay. We, we want to take you, uh, if that's the right way, to take you to the feet of Jesus. Oh, so okay. It's, it's, okay. It's divine appeal. Beautiful. It, it, yes, yes. Beautiful, lovely. So it's like one is sitting at the feet of Jesus yes, while they are blessed yes. by melodious tunes. I mm. love that. Abu Tindibu. Yes, yes. So you guys have been around 
Um, I don't know for how long. Could you mind just sharing with our viewers at home to tell us how long you guys have been around? All right, thank you. Um, <clears throat> in actual fact, before we became Divine Appeal, okay, um, we had a name. Um, um, was less close, but we, we, we took it out. <laughs> so it was like into Corsa. <laughs> yeah, um, why not? <laughs> yeah, um, the name was um, then changed to the Hymns Divine. Oh, okay. That would have been sometime in 2018, Gen early, Gen early 2018. Okay. Um, the group initially didn't have only males. Um, oh, okay. It was mixed genders. Interesting. Uh, but we had challenges because other members had to move or relocate to different uh, provinces. Mm -hmm. um, then we re-established the group. Then we tempted Divine Appeal, as he has alluded mm -hmm. earlier, um, basically because um, the songs that we sing, mm -hmm. Um, we believe that they have a very appealing message. Okay, and okay. And that takes you back to church. Beautiful. So we started this group um, 2018. We had our challenges, then re-established it early 2019. Uh, Ndibu, I like what you are saying about the, um, the name of the group and the purpose in the name and the intention thereof. You are saying it is to actually draw people back to church. Has that happened with your group? Um, I think well, what is evident is that people are enjoying our music. All right. Um, we've been called several times mm -hmm. to minister in different churches. That's beautiful. And the feedback thus far mm -hmm. is evident that um, indeed people are reconnecting Glory. with their God through the music that we read. Praise God. Praise God. That's beautiful because I'm I'm thinking I'm nine myself, but it'll be so um it will be so in vain if you're busy going out there and you are busy ministering and no souls are actually coming to the Lord, you know, but may the good Lord continue to bless that Amen. part of your ministry. Now you mentioned Enyindo and Elisa, well Undibo mentioned it that there was actually um females part of, of your group. Uh, is the intention to go back and get other genders to be part of your group? Well, not really an intention, but um, oh, okay. so far, mm -mm. We, I think we are still fine. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll recruit um, females, but so far mm. we're still fine. I don't know how to feel as a woman <laughs> with that comment. <laughs> No, but I think if my I can chip in, uh -huh. that is not to say we are closing women out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The group is not only, like I said earlier, it is not only for males. Oh, okay. What you see on the stage is actually for males that are singing. Mm -hmm. However, the group is broad. Beautiful. Um, uh, it is not only limited to music. Mm -hmm. uh, we go out and we do some sort of a ministry. If you require us to come and, and, and take control of the entire uh, Sabbath worship program that mm -hmm. will be from your Sabbath school divine service even in the afternoon program then that is where oh, we lovely. Then link up with that. so what you are saying to me and the viewers is that not only do you have singers but you have preachers you've got teachers in the yes, group as well yes, so it's a ministry exactly. in complete exactly. I love that that is beautiful well because this is a uh, music show and not a talk show, I have to cut this interview short and continue to actually enjoy your music. All right. Well, to you all viewers at home, I hope that you enjoyed the little chat I had with the brothers. But coming up right next is them with a beautiful item. Do enjoy. <laughs>
across the wave Some poor fainting, struggling seamen You may rescue You Welcome back to Masim Dumisa right here on Life Destiny. Still joining us is the wonderful group, which is Divine Appeal. Earlier on in the show, we heard more about how the group basically started, as well as the beautiful music and the ministry that they're all about. But right now, in studio, I have two gentlemen who go by the name of Usmanga, as well as Usfiso. And they're going to be telling us more about the social aspects of the group and how basically they relate with each other, as well as their audience. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. How are you this evening? Happy Sabbath. Happy Great. Sabbath. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I really love your music. It's so uplifting. It has that all-time religion, but with a bit of, you know, that, that rendition going on. So I want to know, what, what is your music? What genre is it? What do you aim to, you know, bring across to the audience out there? Well, <clears throat> I'd consider our genre to be Adventist gospel music. Okay. And strictly? What, strictly yes, Adventist. All right, all right. And we aim to basically um, take, okay. like our former member said, take people back to church. Oh, take us back to church. Take you back to church, yes. <laughs> All right. uh -huh. With, uh, we've added a bit of s soothing uh, feels to our music in order wow. to uh, bring people a bit... Feel a feel of rest on the okay. Sabbath because it's a restful day as yes. well. Yes. So something that's peaceful that draws you closer to yes. the Holy Spirit. Yes. That yes. sort of vibe, basically. Yes. Yes. I love that. I love that. And obviously, I heard earlier on that you guys are actually a ministry. So it's it's you come you know you do what jail ministry you prison do prison ministry, ministry yeah. you go door to door and you spread the word of God yes. not just to Adventists but also to non Adventists yes, yes, yes and I'm guessing you guys go along with them and you sing yes yes we do how does that audience that is not you know Adventist you know accept your music do they like it do they come back and want to come to church because of your music how is it um, actually they they do okay. Yes, because we, 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 as we said, we, we're bringing them to church, yes. we're bringing them to God. Amen. Because we, we've seen that uh, in our days, the music that uh, is there in, in, uh, all around the world, mm -hmm. it's not appealing yes. to, to, to people that we must bring them to church. Sure. So by that, we are doing everything in our power that people like our music, okay. then we pray harder for that. I love that. And yeah. to add on that, the advantage that we have is that in each and every household, although not Seventh-day Adventist, they've heard some of these songs okay. because they're not unique to the SDA faith. So okay. now when they hear them mm. sung in such a way, yes. filled with emotion and mm. all of that. It just draws them closer. They want to be they part of this movement, more, man. Yes. I love that. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's really great. Sometimes you can't be everything to everyone. Yes. But you can take what we have and send it out there exactly. as the word of God. I love that. That's a beautiful and, you know, great foundation that you guys have as a group. Smanga, yes. I want to know something. You guys have got quite a lot of, you know, um, followers on Facebook. <laughs> and I know yes. that you just started the group, you know, and you got 200 likes, you know, yes. in just like three to four days. Yeah. How did you do that? How did you do that? I think that again answers your question, your previous question. Okay. I think it's how people are taking our music. Mm -hmm. So they want to, to know more about us. Mm. That's why they are liking our page. Mm. And the fact that we've we've built friends wherever yes. we go, we make sure that we're building friends okay. and then we market our page in, in so that people will like it and then yes. we engage with people. That's yes. that's the key. So would you say as a person I'm guessing you do the social media? In the group? Y yes. Would you say that social media is a very crucial tool to ensuring that the word of God is spread out to the wider audience? 
Yes, it is, but it depends on how you you actually use, use it. it. Yes. I love that. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Tell me something. You two gentlemen have got other careers besides singing. Um, you studying, you working. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? And how does that combination come together in doing the Word of God? Uh, I'm studying law at UJ. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. So, so <laughs> it's, it's all about communication and okay. commitment. If you're committed in something, mm. you make time for it. Mm. Then you make space for it. So mm -hmm. we've been communicating so far. And then that has helped our, our ministry. I love that. Yes. So um, the students, UJ is a big campus. I don't know which campus are you in? It's Auckland Park, the main campus. Which is the main campus. So, you know, yes. it's huge. And there's different also, you know, races there as well. Yes. Do you ever use that platform to share your music to other students? Yes, I do. You do? A lot, yes. And it's not, it's not difficult? Yeah, sometimes it is. But mm. when, when people hear the music, they, they feel they at ease. They just fall in love. Yes. And yes. It gives yes. them a place of rest. Yes. Sviso, what do you do? I work and study at the same time. I've got shared responsibilities. Shoo, hectic. Yes. <laughs> okay. And um, to further elaborate on what he said on the Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, in our workspaces and our school spaces, mm -hmm. like he said, we make friends even when we go to door to door. Yes. Hence the, um, the amount of likes like, or the followers yes, in followers. such a short page, mm -hmm. a sort of short space of time. And uh, <clears throat> what I do at work. It's it's sort of like um, we go collect waste. Waste management. Waste management services okay, at sure. old age homes. Old age homes? Old age homes. What a great place to be positioned, exactly. right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. And I'm guessing you just fit into it as well. And you, you just fit share. In and collecting, you know, <laughs> and you're like, Jesus, right exactly, this side. Yes. Awesome. I love that. So we go there uh. and we... Uh, try to set up as much appointments as we possibly nice. can because the some you might find some old people don't get as much visitations yes, from their kids. Sure. So mm. we come there and be that beam of light that awesome. they need. The partnerships just come easily like that. Yeah. So so that's how you guys basically can use your life, your other careers to actually draw people closer to God. Exactly. Yes. Which is very crucial. Yes. Yeah. I love that. I love it. Okay, so quickly before we close, what projects are you guys working on now? What are you guys doing as a group? And also, what are you heading towards? What plans do you have for the future? Uh, for now, we're compiling songs. Okay. Yes. Uh, we we actually looking forward into having a CD. But for now, we, nice. our main focus is on the ministry. Yeah. Because okay. we can't focus on the CD part of it. Mm. It's all about the ministry. You need it out there, man, to yes. do the work of the Lord. Yes, yeah. yes. So, sure. possibly, a CD will do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then what timelines are we looking at? So people can know at home and be excited already, you know? Do you know when you want to probably do that? Um, an estimation that we have is next year. Next year. As loose as, as it is. We hope we're in the year by now, you know? We're nearly there. We're about yeah, to cross yeah, that yeah, bridge. Yeah, yeah. Next also, year. may God truly bless you, gentlemen. Thank you. You know, Thanks. even when you're out there working, studying, may God, you know, enrich on you and bless you further. May God bless you. Thank you so much, gents. Thank Thanks. you, man. All right, there you have it. That was Fiso and Smanga from the wonderful Divine Appeal. Up next, we have a beautiful item from Divine Appeal. Don't you move.
Welcome back to you at home on Masim Dumi Say Gospel Show on Life Destiny TV. Well, right now, besides just the music that we actually bless you with, we actually do more here at home. We bless you again with words from heaven where Amen. you can actually be inspired with just uh, that inspiration of ink. Do stay tuned for poetry right after the... The amazing Kit Guide. And yes. basically, if you don't know about the Kit Guide by now, you should know about the Kit Guide. Okay. Because we love you so much, as Dima said, right here on Masim to Me, so that we want to make sure that you have that true praise and worship. Uh -huh. That's what we're simply about. Exactly. So, with the Kit Guide, we're going to be telling you about all the great programs and the events happening near you so if you want to know what's happening near you stay glued to that screen this is the kick guide Can I shoot my heart to eternity? I don't think you heard me. I said, can I shoot my heart to eternity where heaven dreams of me? Can I stroll into your garden of love where you and I should live? Oh dear heart, shoot yourself into galaxies wide enough to carry my seven seas that my soul encompass too deep. Give me pilgrimage to finally leap to a journey that keeps me weak on my knees. Now tell me, how do I shake emotions such as these that my journey heart seems so bleak? How do I tell my heart to stop searching for that missing link that keeps me awake at night while my heart loses sight of this dream that should be mine? A dream of true love divine. Come on, there must be something that can be done. Come on, there must be something that can be done for this bittersweet love to once more begin, begin to bring back that sunshine smile that my soul hasn't seen in a while. Now land of a living, now land of a living, why have you taken without giving, without putting me back on your love chest, without putting me back on your love pedestal chest, thus I will ask these questions, thus I will ask these questions for the very last time. So, can I shoot my heart to eternity where heaven dreams of me? Can I stroll to your love garden where you and I can only remember, you and I can only see the future that you so much tell me that I can long for? Can I truly shoot my heart to eternity? Can I truly shoot my heart to eternity to a time that will always reign? Can I? Can I truly shoot my heart to eternity where heaven dreams of me? Right there at home that you're feeling just like me right now you don't want to say your goodbyes right however every great thing has to come to an end unfortunately but we want to thank you for being such amazing amazing viewers right there that's at home right, for right. being with us throughout the week and showing so much love and support and may god continue to be with you and bless you for this upcoming week to the wonderful divine appeal thank you so much for sharing so much of yourself but also so much of this ministry and may god continue to walk with you every single step of the way well, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself. Everyone was great. You yourself were great as well. We enjoyed the little chats that you had with us as well on our social media. And we implore you to continue chatting with us, talking to us, engage with us, like, share, and yes. whatever, comment on our social media platforms. And just to remind you again, that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And well, all, that's all from me. Don't be a new team. And my name is Ulundi Wakuzwayo, same time, same place, right here on Life Destiny. It is your life, your, your destiny. destiny. We love you so much. Good night. Good night. Asa kili bela lapa singaba bemsa beni. Yahweh, 
zozayo asa kili bela lapa sifunumu zositele iza yoni kosi kulo ikaya Bepagate ikanyagu Bepagate inda uwele Yogutula Yogupumbu Zabambi Yenga Zati Papa, give me a Amen. 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 